welcome again to another Tabata session at home. Today we will have three Tabata cycles that's just going to be using our body weight to make us work and sweat and get our whole bodies worked out, right? So if you're joining me again for the first time for Tabata, Tabata is simply an interval training session that will make you work for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. And we do that over and over until we complete four minutes. So I've prepared three special Tabata sessions for you guys today and all you need to have with you is some space that I have behind me, a towel to wipe your sweat and your water bottle when you get really thirsty. Now I know temperatures are soaring in some places where you are so really important to stay hydrated, okay? So I'm gonna get you guys warmed up, get you mobile for your ankles, your hips and your spine and we're gonna be ready to be moving through our three Tabata cycles. So thanks for joining me again. Right? Music's going to come on. Let's get you ready. I hope you guys have something to eat as well. So I basically want you guys to find some space where you can move. Set your left leg right in front of you. Hands by the top this way. And then drive your hips side to side. One more, and then we simply switch legs, yeah, right leg forward, hands up, drive your hips, reach across. Now take your time with this move, so you feel that release through your sides and your hips. We have a couple more. Last time. All right. Last time. 
girls. Little up. Now, shake it out. We're going to bring that feet a little bit wider. Elbows in between. Shift your hips from side to side. So, create those spaces in between the hip joints by moving your knees in this way. Once you feel comfortable, lift your hips up and drop your hips down. Think about chest off as you sit back and then hips high as you lift them. I'll ask for three more. Last two teams. Okay, from here, roll up and nice. That is your basic mobility warm up and you made it, hey? Are you guys ready to move a little bit more? I hope the answer is yes. <laughs> now, we have just done your mobility warm up and now I'm gonna take you through your three Tabata cycles. So, three Tabata cycles simply means four minutes each, 12 minutes in total. So your first cycle is gonna have two moves. We're just using your body. And I always wanna check that I teach you the right thing. So, we will start with what we call a lateral lunge and then a jump squat, right? Let me show you guys how that looks. So, feet start together, we lunge to the left side, hinge from your hips, right? Then as you come back in, jump up, land in the squat, step to your right side, land in, jump up, and we switch. Now remember, when you jump, guys, land soft, okay? So, option number one, if you can do that lunge, jump, lunge, jump each time for the 20 seconds, amazing. Now, if you're saying, hmm, Jumping right now is not gonna work for me. So, option number two. You lunge, you squat. Lunge, squat. Fair enough? Now, if you think it's gonna be a little too much, option three, just focus on your lateral lunges. All right? So, again, three options to make sure everybody's successful today. Exercise number two. I'm gonna get you guys down on a plank, okay? There's going to be two directions, inwards and outwards, which means when you're in your plank, knees come in and then knees come out. Tap the outside of your elbow. So two in and two out. Two in and two out. Okay? So that's all you simply need to do. So we're looking at speed but really good control. That's option one. Option two. You decide, are you gonna focus on in or just out, right? So if you think the out is a struggle, take your time and focus on just tapping outwards. That's option two. Now, option three, can I do this on my knees? Well, it will feel different, but you still can. And that is an option because it's still gonna get your hips working, all right? So, pretty simple moves, but guys, your heart rates are gonna go up with this one. So, let's set your music, let's set your timer, and let's get cracking with this one. All right? Okay, we always start with a 15 second countdown because I want you guys to set yourselves. So the countdown is on, get your space, lateral lunge, jump, squat, yeah? So feet start together, relax those arms, start small. Three, two, one, lunge, come in, jump, go again. Good. Now, how high can you jump? How much lunge can you go to the side? Three seconds. Done. Very simple. Now, I want you guys to come down to a plank. Set your feet. Set your hands.
go. If you finish on one side, start off with the other side. In three, go. Are you starting to feel my love for you guys today? Get deeper into that lunge if you can. Push. Now focus on the quality of the move. Jump higher. Done. Woo. Back into your plank. Now remember, shoulders over hands so your wrists don't hurt. In three seconds. Go. Are you putting some speed now? That's it, you know the move. So start to beast it a little more. Eight seconds, boys and girls. Three. And finish. Ah. Do you have one more in you? Say yes. In three seconds, lunge, jump. Go. Now, speed can come into play. If you go faster, the lunge will be smaller. You choose. I want your heart rate up. I want your lungs burning a bit more in your legs. Three seconds. Done. Down to the floor. Last round. Are you with me? In three seconds. Push yourselves. Go. Get a rhythm that works for you to stay stable. Go. Ten seconds. side to side. 
lateral climbers. <laughs> Option one, you go with your speed. Option two, you slow it down by just simply stepping in and out. Stepping in and out. Yeah? So you have that, those baby steps. Option three, boys and girls, if you're still getting used to staying in a plank, you can try stepping opposite knee and elbow together so that you feel more stable, okay? So, three options, again, to make us feel good. Shall we do it? I think so. My sweat is just pouring nonstop. So here comes your music again. And by the way, if you're enjoying the music, SoundCloud is my go-to for exercise music, okay? So, bring it back up. Okay, your timer. 15 seconds on, yeah, remember. Squat twist to start. Last row climbers for the second row. Feet are wide, hands in front. Three, go. Twist. Now, once you get the move, start to bring speed in. But don't lose your squat. Twist. Knee out to the side. You have five seconds. Are you still coming in your squat? Done. Now set yourselves to come onto your hands. Right knee to elbow. Left leg out. In three, two, one, go. Take your time to learn the move. It's almost like a dance move. Alright? Make sure your elbows are strong, soft, and your shoulders are over your hands. Last three seconds. Woo! Done. How was that? Squat twist. Have your hands up. Go. Remember, keep that knee out to the side. Turn your chest to that knee. If you're starting to catch your breath, hey, slow down and focus on technique. Four seconds. Done. Ready for those lateral climbers. Now, team, they can be tough. So set yourself strong. I'm starting with the left. Go. Go. Now, team, no matter what pace you're doing, if you're doing the step, step out, step, step out, you choose. Eight seconds. Done! Woo! Two rounds to go. Are you feeling? 
the time. <laughs> Boys and girls, well done. Our second Tabata cycle done just like that. So have a little bit of a towel down again and some water. your heart rate if it's up if the breathing is heavy we are working your bodies guys now the last Tabata cycle is only one move if we have only one move that means we've got a left side and a right side okay now let's think of safety a lot of people feel their wrists when we do anything that's carrying our body weight now there's two ways to make it stronger number one we train it by using it. Number two, we want to make sure that we get to give them good breaks. So even if you're not exercising, roll your wrists, open and close your hands, all right? Just get that moving so that the joints feel mobile, right? So by the time you get down into putting your weights on your wrists or your hands, that flexibility is there so it doesn't feel uncomfortable, okay? So this next move, is a side plank to ankle tap. Holy, <laughs> oh yes. So think of safety, okay? You want your space. We sit down like we're gonna have a picnic. <laughs> I have my top leg hooked right in front of my bottom ankle, okay? And as much as possible, it's all in one line, my hips, ankles, and my hands. Ta-da, the perfect pose. Now, what's going to happen, okay, is we will be shifting our body weight to that side, the direction of our head, by bringing our arms over, and this is your side plank. But we, we're going to stop here. Now, check how I twist and reach for my inner ankle or my knee, and back up. Inner ankle or knee, and back up. 20 seconds, one side, okay? Option number one. You keep going for 20 seconds. Option two, you can go, come back up, reset if you need to. Go, come back up, reset. Option three, stability, strength, you're still trying to get it on one shoulder. Stick with the prep, where you stay on your knee and focus on this, come back down. 20 seconds of this, but the knee stays down. Is that all right, guys? Yeah? You'll probably feel much more comfortable through our second and third round because your body's gonna know what we need to do. Right, let's give it a shot. Let's have fun with it. Last four minutes together, we've got this. What's this good for? Your obliques, shoulders, your lats, your arms, your inner and outer thighs as well. Yeah? Plus, when you get it, we look graceful. Okay, here comes your timer. Nothing to lose, we just try. I'm gonna start on my left, right side, showing that per picture perfect pose. A little bit away from you, just shift your weight. In three seconds. Coming up, now reach for your ankle and come in. Drive your hips toward the ceiling. Push into your hand. Keep those hips lifted as you come back to your plank. Let's go. Three seconds. Done. Switch your room. Wasn't so bad, right? But you should be feeling it. Set yourselves. Ribs in. Lift up. Once you're here, drive your hips to the ceiling. Reach. Push into that bottom hand and squeeze your inner thighs together like they're best friends. Five seconds. Last one. Done. Come in. Switch. One round done. Three to go. Reset. Lift up. Drive those hips up. Now, try to feel comfortable. Make sure you come right over your hand again. Avoid dropping your hips. Look at where you're reaching. Can you give me one more? One more. Woo! Are you feeling this? Reset. Shake it out. Chest up. Ready? Go. 
together to get you lifted let alone move so whichever option you chose guys pat yourselves in the back because well done so towel down and if you're still sweating that just simply means we've used a lot of muscles in your body today so drink some water and like we finish our sessions all the time we stretch together Well done everybody. So I hope you like how your body's worked today and I hope you felt that you are much stronger than what you think you are. <laughs> okay, so a little more music, a little more stretch happening. So find that space again. Okay, so can we have our knees fall to the left side? Let me just back up a bit more, right? And all you want to do is bring your hands behind you, fingers facing back, open through your chests. Ah, just feels nice, a different angle. Now we will stretch out those hip flexors by bringing our right arm across, push your hips forward, press into your back hand. Coming back down, we're going to do that one more time. Press your hips to the front, look down, or look up, whichever feels good. And release. Switch sides. Hey, bring your hands behind you, lift up your chest, just enjoy. Come on up, left arm across, push your hips to the front, 
Look down or up. And then coming down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Drive those hips. And back in. Set your legs to open up to a wide, comfortable distance. If you're not as flexible like me, soften those knees a little bit, but sit tall. Yeah? All right. Now, did you guys feel your sides work today? They worked out a lot. So from here, left arm just gently resting into your leg. Right arm comes across, lean over. Keep your chest open. Enjoy that stretch. Now from here, turn your chest to face your knee. You can soften your knees and just let your nose come close. Slowly roll up. Shall we do the other side? Right arm rests gently. Left arm over, but turn your chest away from the leg. Good job, everyone. Turn your chest to face your leg. Soft knees, shoulders down. Come back in, roll up. Now, soften your knees if you need to. Flex your feet if you can. And allow yourself to just walk your hands forward. Stretch to the back of the legs. Whoa. Now walk yourself back up. Take both hands behind you and guess what? Lift your hips up again, look up, and draw that opening through your shoulders, chest, and hips. Now slowly drop the hips down, guys. Amazing. <laughs> Clip both knees to your right side, elbow on the shoulder, heel to bum, and we stretch your thighs. Stop that work, yeah? Awesome job, everybody. Okay, take your time to switch over. Now, has it stopped raining on your side, or are you still pouring with your sweat? <laughs> Pull that knee back. Relax through your shoulders. Amazing. Now, we will come onto our knees. Put it underneath your hips, hands on your shoulders. Press your left heel back. Push into your hands, push your heels away from you. Powerful stretch. Now let's get your inner thighs as well, yeah? So the same leg comes outside, flatten your foot, elbows to the ground, drive your hips back. Ooh, the la. Amazing job, team. Carefully come back up. Hands on the shoulders. Switch over to the other side. How are we feeling? Have we cooled down a little bit more? Take that same leg out to the side. Flat foot. Elbows to the ground. Drive those hips behind you. Come on up. Now we go into a child's pose. So that's simply hands in front, sitting back, but can you open your knees a bit more and toes together? Beautiful stretch. Now, tuck your toes in, check this out. Come into a downward dog, which means you're pushing your hips up to the ceiling. Now bend your knees a lot. This is our last stretch. Take your left knee in between your legs. Okay, it looks just like this. Let me show you from here. We call this your swan pose. All right, now from the side, it looks like this. Long leg behind you. Everybody from here, come on down and feel that stretch through this part of your leg. Enjoy that. Now hands come by your side, lift your chest, tuck your toes in. We switch into a down dog. Right knee in between those arms, chest up. Inhale, and exhale, come on down. Enjoy that stretch. With every breath, try to let go of your body weight. All right, team, hands by your side, chest up. Tuck your toes in, in the down dog. Now walk your feet towards your hands, and then take your time to slowly roll yourself back up. That's it. Roll through your wrist, boys and girls, shake it out. Roll your shoulders again, 
and that is us for today, guys. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another Tabata session. I hope you guys loved the workout that we had today, and if you have any feedback, let me know how you felt about it, what you enjoyed about it, and what was challenging for you, yeah? You can catch me again on Saturday, and yes, this is my new page, Train With Ricks, where you can catch all my live sessions again. Now, if you've missed this one, if you, and the previous ones I've done, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Train With Ricks as well, where you're gonna find the previous workouts we've done, and you can share it with your friends so they can start getting fit just like you. So don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> right? So wherever you are, please stay safe and have a great day, everyone. Bye, thanks again.